The breeze is taste of apple peel. The air is full of smells to feel. Ripe fruit, old footballs, burning brush, new books, erasers, chalk and such. The bee his hive, well honeyed hum, and mother cuts chrysanthemums. Like plates washed clean with suds, the days are polished with a morning haze. That's a poem called September by John Updike, and welcome to the complete list of all Nintendo Switch games releasing in the grand month of September. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I've got Jake and Gabe here, and even though that poem ran out of steam, towards the end, this month is jam-packed from start to finish as we approach and enter the fall gaming season. All right, that, so... That poem brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> it's too yeah, beautiful. It, it, it is beautiful. I'm currently crying. But, um, you know, one thing I want to say, uh, just to, to start the video off here, uh, you know, we understand de- dates might shift, and, and we apologize if that happens, but we try to come up with a very comprehensive list of the games coming out uh, this month. We looked at multiple sources. This is the list that we came up with. If something gets announced that is coming in September, all of a sudden, we're sorry. We cannot account for that. And, and you know, if we miss something that was not our intention, again, we did our best, and this is a lot of games, X. So you want to kick us off? Yes. Let's get started. We have a couple of titles that don't have specific dates, so we'll start there, and we'll go with one of my uh, most anticipated for the month to begin, um, which is Golf Story. This is a story-focused eight-course golf game that reminds me of some of the portable uh, Mario Golf Camelot titles of the past. I think this one is going to be really, really cool. Uh, There's eight unique environments. They say you're going to play through a dramatic story. It's got a really cool uh, pixely art style and just has a lot of charm. I know people have been waiting for this one, so hopefully it hits uh, near the beginning of the month rather than the end. I think yeah. it looks very interesting, and I don't know how much drama that pixel art can convey, but I'm excited to see for myself. All the drama. I, I cried during like Final Fantasy like 4 and 5 so when I was young, so you know, drama can be had with, with pixel art. So... Um... Two more uh, games without dates, though, Zach. Let's bring in some. Yes. What's the next um, one? We also have the uh, title Thimbleweed Park, which is Ron Gilbert's uh, point-click adventure. That is hitting sometime in September. Obviously, it previously released um, on other platforms, but it is coming uh, and sort of giving us a look to the past in a modern fashion with, uh, like I said, Ron Gilbert's adventure title. No date on that. Um, I think it's a great fit for Switch. I personally don't have much affinity for this one. Um, I am but... super excited. I love well, like a, I, I love a good mystery. Uh, the game is like very highly regarded, and uh, Steam reviews are like in, in the high 80s uh, as well. Uh, people really like this game, and uh, Ron Gilbert is good at storytelling. And I, I'm, you know, Zach knows that this game is right up my alley. Zach, you like mysteries too, so I don't know why Thimbleweed Park wouldn't be one that, that you like. I do like mysteries. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll be just so... Be a little detective. You can solve the murder. Who knows? Yes, I would love to solve that murder. I I do like my murder shows, but we won't dive into my uh, strange TV habits. Instead, we'll dive into Wolverblade, which got a lot of love after the recent Nindy showcase. This is a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Some people said it reminded them of Castle Crashers. Some people said it reminded them of Game of Thrones. It does not have a date. It has a pretty cool art style, um, and it is coming uh, soon from Fully Illustrated and Darkwind Media. It is two-player co-op and eight real British locations in the rich campaign. This is not a poor campaign game. No, no, no. It, it's a, a mass to quite a bit of money. Um, yes. Some of that Lannister gold. Every time we mention this game, I always make a Game of Thrones reference because it looks so similar. Like the overview map in that trailer looks a lot like Game of Thrones. But um, surprising that this got like a release date so soon after it got announced during the Nindies thing. Yes. Um, but yeah, those are the ones that don't have dates. Uh, uh, those are all tentatively in September. Again, subject to change. I do think that Thimbleweed Park definitely hits. Uh, because you know, um, Ron Gilbert has said that that game is very, very close. Like, it's done. So, um, everything else has dates, though, Zach. Yes, everything does have dates. And so, we'll start in chronological order with LEGO Worlds, um, which is the open, uh, procedurally generated, make Minecraft-alike LEGO title, uh, which I'm actually interested to try out. I meant to give it a go on PC, never got around to it. Um, but putting it on Switch, it releases on September 5th, and it looks to be pretty interesting. It's $29.99. There will be a physical copy as well as a digital version. And I'm actually pretty pumped to see what this is like. Jake, how many worlds are you going to build here? Probably none, to be honest. But, I mean, <laughs> it might be someone else's cup of tea. 
<laughs> uh, for everybody that doesn't know, Jake is the biggest Minecraft fan in the world. Well, yeah, my whole room is painted in pixel and squares. Yeah. My bed is, is made up of a bunch of little cubes I have to put together in different ways every night before I go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, Lego World, uh, at the very least, shows uh, strong third-party support, right? You know, we, we have a Lego game coming, even though it's not necessarily the Lego game we want quite yet. That That's in another month, but... Yeah, I mean, WB has been kind of on board, especially the Lego properties. They had Lego City, and now Lego Worlds, eventually Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Um, but first, we're going to get RBI Baseball, which brings a, a little ball and stick action to the Nintendo Switch. Haven't heard the greatest things about this, but it does promise a quick uh, under 20 minute baseball game. And they have 30 authentic ballparks, advanced stat tracking, season game sims, roster updates. Uh, so it will be utilizing uh, actual rosters. And it does have like full on season, uh, postseason, exhibition, um, all that sort of stuff. So it. It could be pretty interesting. Um, you are going to be able to play with the single Joy-Con, which is cool. Uh, it's $30, again, physical and digital, and that comes out also on September 5th. A little question for you boys. What does RBI mean in terms of baseball? Runs, batted Ooh. in. Ooh, you, you know. Uh, how do you? I, I'm surprised Jake knows. I we played things. baseball for you guys, years. You, I didn't know that you played baseball for three years. You learn something new every day. I thought oh, you... for, for more than three, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. All right, just making sure. Um, next game, though. No one yes. sh- th- This next game looks weird. <laughs> yeah, The Bridge is a puzzle game uh, that kind of fuses MC Escher and Isaac Newton. It came up previously uh, for other platforms. I actually played this. It was pretty fun. It's $10. It'll be a downloadable eShop game. Um, on September the 7th, and it's a black and white puzzler. It kind of is from the era of Braid, when that kind of um, downloadable game was really, really popular, and it's it's not as memorable as Braid, but it still is a pretty cool game, and one that I think, Gabe, you'll actually really like. It looks very Braid-esque, now that you mention it, like, the the art style is similar, wow, you know, in black and white, uh, so it is different, but just uh, the way that the little, like, humans are drawn and stuff, so... Um, I'll, I'll actually play that, to be honest. I think I will. Sweet. September 7th uh, has more because we've got Neurovoider, which is a oddly priced thirteen ninety nine downloadable game. Uh, it's a futuristic twin stick shooter RPG. Um, so it is something that has four player co-op, which I think is probably what will help attract attention uh, for it. And it has procedurally generated... Um, levels, which is pretty cool. There are 8,736 enemies and a lot of loot. So this actually looks like something that hasn't really received any sort of mention or hype, but it could be kind of cool. It almost reminds me of like Enter the Gungeon art style wise, which got him super excited for that one. Um, but you again, control a brain. It's basically crank the game. Basically. Crank the game. Uh, the game has been on other platforms for, for quite some time, though. I, I do want to make that clear. Uh, but yes. it is coming to the Switch eShop um, uh, this month. And. Um, We'll see. Uh, like you said, it does have some very Enter the Gungeon vibes. Like, the gameplay seems, like, super similar. Yes. So, four-player co-op could be cool. We can get in there and uh, void some neuros. Um, next up, we have Licked Spear Double Spear Edition. Again, on September 7th. A big game, a big day uh, for indie titles. And this one has a really unique art style. It is an action arcade light spear throwing simulator <laughs> based in an ancient Germanic future exclusive Nintendo Switch co-op modes. So this game is, is not there, exclusive. How is there an ancient future? <laughs> Look, don't 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 pay too much yeah. attention. Ancient future. Don't <laughs> judge. Just accept. <laughs> Got it. Uh, Sorry. And it reminds me, art style-wise, of Hyper Light Drifter mixed with Guacamelee. Guacamelee is one of my favorite indie games of all time. Anyhow, um, but it looks... Kind of interesting. It looks simplistic. I don't think it's going to you know, really do a whole lot. It's nine ninety nine. Um, it's competing against the bridge and Neurovoider. To me, it looks like the weakest of the three, but hopefully some people find some fun. Uh, and the fact that they have co-op is pretty cool. Throw those light spears. Gosh, this is just a crazy day for downloadables. We've got more fight uh, from Blowfish Studios and Crescent Moon Games. This one is hitting again on September the 7th, and it looks pretty darn cool. as a first-person atmospheric exploration sci-fi shooter with platforming elements that looks to be like a little tiny taste of Metroid before we get Prime 4. 
It's got some really and, cool graphics. The art style is beautiful, I think. It's got some really vibrant colors and interesting game to check out for sure. That's exactly what I, what I was going to say. It doesn't have, like, the most detail, but I think, like, the art style being, like, so minimal and still, like, colorful, it, it, it's, it's pretty, to say the least. And, you know, the game has some, like, unique inspirations, Ratchet and Clank, Metroid Prime, and Turok, of all things. So, mm-hmm. so we'll see how that goes. It's like... No Man's Sky Light. It says that you will uh, be traveling procedurally generated planets, brimming with side quests, fighting against alien life, looking for upgrades for your ship, suit and weapons, engaging in dogfights, trading, using a scanner. Like, it's pretty darn packed. It's also hitting uh, PS4, Xbox One, iOS, uh, Steam, all those things. So, um, pretty darn cool. And uh, I think that it's worth checking out. So we will see if that pans out. Um, I'm not seeing a price for it yet. And um, let's see if I can grab one off of Steam um, to get a general idea. But this this is one that I, again, have heard nothing about, um, but could end up being something very, very cool uh, to check out. Yeah, there is no price yet even on Steam, so we'll have to see on the price there. That takes us to the next uh, date here, and that is September the 12th, when Rayman Legends Definitive Edition hits Ubisoft bringing more of their titles to the trusty hybrid. This is a phenomenal game, reviewed incredibly well. Obviously, it's a couple years old, but that's not stopping uh, us from being super excited. Hopefully, we get review code soon. Four-player local co-op, over 100 levels, local wireless multiplayer competitively with Kung Fu, which is actually kind of fun. Um, There's a demo available currently if you want to grab it. It's gorgeous, and it will fill sort of the 2D platformer void since Mario is going 3D this year. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for this. $39.99. It's a great game. Do you remember when this was going to be a Wii U exclusive? When it first yes. got announced? Yes. Yeah, I absolutely love both both of them, um, Origins and, and Legends. Uh, they're fantastic. The music in them is great. The difficulty towards the end, it definitely spikes if you try to, um, you know, get every collectible in, in every level. But it's a fantastic game. We played it. Uh, I played it at an event, plus, you know, the demo out there now, so you guys can try it. Um, I think people that, you know, have never played it should 100% give it a chance. It, it's it's awesome. Yes. For sure. So that's one of the, the highlights of the month there. And again, nothing so far has been full price, which is interesting. Um, we're all at you know $30 games, $40 games, and then indie prices. Um, and that will continue with Pan Pan, which releases on Thursday, September the 14th. Um, Pan Pan! Pan Pan is already available on Steam. Um, it is an adventure exploration puzzle game. It, again, has a unique style. It's very indie-esque. Um, it almost has like a little bit of a journey or um monument valley vibe and style to it uh, could be worth checking out um i believe this one uh is going to be 9.99 there is not an official listing yet um but uh have it's you guys coming have you guys ever played the Halfland series on like the flash game on the internet this is, this is what it reminds me of a 3d version of Halfland. i'm sure you guys have seen it or played it look it up Halfland. h a p actually it, it may be twelve ninety nine, so color me corrected. September fourteenth also sees Kingdom New Lands for fourteen ninety nine, uh, which is an award winning franchise where you are one ruler, their horse, and a bag of coins, exploring the land, advancing your kingdom, coming across items, NPCs, mysterious statues, and puzzling your way on your own. Um, this is the second game in the series. The third game, uh, Kingdom Two Crowns, is hitting next year, so this is a nice chance for you to get into the series. And I think. This looks pretty cool. It got really good reviews, and Gabe, I think, I think you're probably going to be the the best. You're going to have the best kingdom. Well, you know, I've always wanted to be the ruler. Uh, that, that's just yes. my, that's just my life goal. I kind of just want to rule everything. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine, um, good price, and the, the reviews speak for themselves. The series itself is just very well regarded, and uh, there is a, a sequel coming next year. So good preparation, like you mentioned. So this is definitely one I'm going to play. Yes. Uh, we have one more September 14th game, and that is Semispheres 999, another downloadable indie. Uh, it is a meditative parallel puzzle game, and it has single-player split-screen. So basically you're working two sides of the screen by yourself. Um, it's a mechanic that's been done before. It looks pretty interesting. Over 50 levels, stealth-inspired gameplay, mesmer- mesmerizing art style. Man, mesmerize me. I couldn't even say the word. Um, and could be one to dive into for puzzle fans. But from here on out, things get super cool. Because September 15th sees the release of NBA 2K18. And we know, we know, there's a lot of just chaos around that. It's the digital download version that requires an SD card, the actual physical 
Retail version will not be out until October 17th, but on September 15th, you can grab full NBA 2K18, complete with the new neighborhood mode, complete with my player, my team, all that stuff, and multiplayer, and it's hitting Nintendo Switch, 60 bucks plus the SD card. September 15th. <laughs> yeah, $60 plus the SD card that you hopefully already have. Uh, Zach and I are going to be on this game heavy, I think. Uh, we're we're going yeah. to try, we're gonna try to uh, do, do the best. We'll have some streams of, of me beating Zach, hopefully. Hey. Although I'm not as confident in, in my abilities in 2K as I am in Madden. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll have some fun with this one. I know a lot of people are interested, and it's been a strange journey to release. Uh, and, you know, SD card debacles and, and, and you know, n- no physical version like like zach mentioned that i i wanted to culminate in a good nba 2k game on 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 switch and hopefully it delivers yeah early early impressions have been very positive seems like it's quite the version and again just so cool you can take it on the go um but when you're done playing that september 20th has sold them drop connect erase 30 dollars physical and digital this is a puzzle game um it is about rotating and dropping fruits to match colors uh and there are a couple of modes over 200 levels um you can challenge your friends in two-player online versus mode and to me it looks like a phone game (laughs) it looks like yeah it looks like a less polished version of puyo puyo tetris yeah this is uh jake's favorite game on the list uh, you know, he can't wait to connect all those same color dots. Connect, right drop, here. race. Connect, drop, race. Connect, drop, race. <laughs> I love yeah, that the description, I, the, the instructions for the game are in the title. It's beautiful. That so way that's you, marketing at its finest right there. Look, Jake, we can't have you be confused about your favorite game. You have to know what to do, and, and the title tells you Exactly. I mean, this one to me is possibly the least interesting game on the list. By far. By far. Um, Then we go to maybe the most interesting game on the list. September 21st is the release of SteamWorld Dig 2 uh, for $19.99. This comes in from Image and Form Games, who are phenomenal developers. Uh, If you don't know what SteamWorld Dig is, you can check out the first game. It's totally worth a purchase on 3DS or on Steam or any platform, really. SteamWorld Heist is a really unique uh, strategy shooter and SteamWorld Dig 2 takes things to the next level um, with upgraded graphics and a whole lot more action. You'll be diving in uh, to an underground as you look to upgrade, get a whole lot of loot, and go to town with a crusty crew of robots. This is a must play, in my opinion. It is timed exclusive on Switch, eventually hit other platforms, but enjoy it while you can. September 21st, I'm so pumped for this. Yeah, this one is going to hit like the, the the top of the sales charts for eShop. Um, yeah, f- for sure. Uh, it, it it feels like people are excited for it. Um, when Sonic Mania first came out, right, that shot straight up to the charts. People loved it. It reviewed well, and I see the same thing happening here with Steam World Dig too. Never played a Steam World game, but I'm excited to try this one. Z- Zach swears by them, so I think you'll have fun. Yeah, it's it's really good, Jake. You will absolutely love this. Um, and now we get a Nintendo game. So September 22nd sees Pokemon Tournament DX, which is the port slash deluxe version of the 1v1 Pokemon fighting tile. 60 bucks, physical and digital. It includes uh, the arcade characters as well as Decidueye. And it's it's a really fun game. It's not a fighter in the same vein as, you know, the, the, the traditional uh tentpole titles like Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Injustice, but it still has a lot of a lot of charm and a lot of fun there. And I feel like if you slept on this on Wii U, it's still totally worth checking out. Um, there is a demo available, so give that a go. And uh, fifteen, I'm times. actually pretty, yeah, fifteen times. <laughs> and I'm pretty pumped to to play this one uh, against Jake and Gabe. Uh, uh, Jake, did who won in our battle at E3? Do you remember? I think I we remember. split, didn't we? One in each. Yeah, okay, we, we we might have. So we, we're going to need to have a tie-breaking uh, situation happen uh, whenever we, we get our hands on it. But, um, yeah, it, it's poking. You know what the game is. Even if you haven't played it, you've probably heard of it. And um, if you missed it on Wii U, like Zach said, it's a good time to jump on board. Yes, indeed. Two more titles to go, and these are two, uh, two big ones here. So first up, we've got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 releasing on September 22nd in America. It will be out in Japan on September the 7th, and I've been told and I've seen that it does have English language, so 
you might be able to grab this game uh, a couple of weeks earlier. It is releasing for $49.99. It'll be a physical and digital uh, download. It combines Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 with the story mode of Dragon Ball Z Universe 1 and includes specific Switch motion control functionality to perform Kamehameha and Spirit Bomb with the Joy-Con. Who doesn't it, love that? Yeah, it, th- th- that's a no-brainer. We knew that was going to And it does have you know individual Joy-Con multiplayer. It's got six-player local play. Obviously, you need more Switches for that. Um, this is supposedly a testing ground for getting fighters over on the Switch, so I hope it does well. Are you going to play this game? I play a little bit of it. I, I can't imagine that I'm going to put a ton of time into it, especially yeah. because the other platforms they didn't review like super well. So uh, it, just because there's so many games coming, um, you know, it'll be hard to, to dedicate too much time. But I, I want to give it a try for sure. Gotcha. I think I will as well. It's, it's always cool to see a notable third party, uh, even if it's a port. Um, Bandai Namco, obviously very supportive of Nintendo and the Switch ecosystem, so that's good to see. And I really want to get fighters over there because that would be the... That's a fun, fantastic game. So much fun, and would be it's fantastic is what I was what I was going for. Yeah, there. fantastic. Um, but give it to us, baby. Apologies for the interjection here, but when we finished making this video, we somehow skipped over two games, and I'm going to tell you about them right now. All right. So first up, we have Lego Ninjago, the movie, the video game. Lego Ninjago is not something I'm familiar with in the slightest, but it is coming out on Friday, September 22nd, for sixty. Dollars, So fans of this can definitely go ahead and jump on board. I have never seen or played with Ninjago, but, you know, WB Games Publishing um, and other LEGO games is always a great thing for third-party support for the Switch. The other game that is coming is a One Piece Unlimited World Red Deluxe Edition. This is a re-release, a remake of uh, One Piece Unlimited World Red, and... Uh, it has sold over a million units worldwide, and uh, it makes sense that uh, Bandai Namco is bringing this over to Switch. This on this is on September 29th for 39.99, so it is not full price. It is twenty dollars cheaper than uh, Lego Ninjago, but uh, fans of One Piece can uh, definitely get their hands on this. Um, and again, more third-party support for the Switch is always a good thing. And from now, uh, from uh, here, we'll go back to the regular list. Thank you. Uh, last up, and definitely not least, is EA Sports FIFA 18, hitting on September 29th, 60 bucks, retail and digital. This is possibly the biggest game of the month. I think it's between this and NBA. Um, it doesn't have every mode like NBA, uh, but it does have most of them. You are able to play local multiplayer. You guys got a chance to play it at E3. It's- 1080p on TV, 720 on handheld. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's FIFA. Uh, first time you can take FIFA on the go. Uh, they, they make a very big deal about that. Uh, EA has recently said that they believe FIFA is a must-have on Switch. Uh, you know, akin to Breath of the Wild and 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 you know other first-party um, Nintendo games. So they are fully behind it. Um, EA is putting the support there. They're gonna probably market it. Um, and if it does well, you can hopefully see maybe Madden coming out next year, maybe another FIFA game. We want, we need uh, FIFA, uh, EA to be on uh, Switch uh, in a big way, so uh, hopefully this is just a harbinger of things to come, and uh, it does well. And, you know, it, it's FIFA. When we played it, uh, I'm not the biggest fan uh, of the sport in general, so uh, I'm not the best to, like, gauge that, but the game played well, and it looked fine when we played it on, on, a, on a TV at E3. So. Yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing is being able to take it on the go. Like, if you're a fan of FIFA at all and you want to be able to play it anywhere, it's a beautiful choice for that. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is a pretty packed month, and it feels like the Switch uh, is really getting ready and gearing up for the fall. We know October holds things like Fire Emblem Warriors and Super Mario Odyssey, plus I'm sure a lot more indies and potentially some third party as well. But September is a great one. A lot of top titles here. Let us know in the comments down below which games you're most excited for, which games you're getting. Is it Golf Story? Is it LEGO Worlds? NBA 2K18 being able to take basketball on the go? Or are you more of a FIFA 18 type of player? Steam World Dig 2, probably the indie gem of the Switch thus far. Hopefully it pans out. Rayman Legends giving you that Mario 2D platformer vibe with gorgeous visuals. And then some interesting titles, things like Neurovoider, things like Morphite, uh, and things like Wolverblade hitting throughout the month. Let us know your tops and your favorites 
in the comments. In the meantime, thank you for watching us. We hope we are one of your favorites. We'll keep working hard to bring you guys all of the info and cover as many of these games as we possibly can. Look for reviews of some of them. Look for gameplay of many and look for impressions of nearly all. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. For myself, Jake and Gabe, Switch Force, out.